All right, so Jim wants to have a bath. Yeah, I wanted to show everybody um, what we're doing with our bath. We've been using the bathroom like this for about a year. And um, uh, what, so this is our bathing area right now. And for about a year, we've had a bathtub and we've had no shower. And the plan is, right, to put a shower here, this control it, and we're gonna have to turn the shower on. If we want the shower's nice and tall, and this will be a handheld shower. So um, when we lived in Japan, we got used to uh, bathing outside the tub, hence the stool. And uh, washing all the dirt off outside, and so you have a nice warm tub that you soak in, and everybody else gets to soak in as well. You take turns, a nice warm tub, it stays clean because you are clean. Yeah, it's <laughs> So, um, it's that's the music. inspiration, um, that you don't get the tub dirty, and theoretically you never have to clean it, but look, oh, it's a little dirty. Um, un unfortunately, the kids sometimes get into the tub. <laughs> sometimes. Um, they always, they're like, I don't want to wash! No, they haven't got the idea, they didn't live in Japan like we did, so they don't know. <laughs> don't forget your socks. <laughs> Take my, so the myself. idea is that this whole area where the red is will eventually have a glass wall uh, cordoning it off. This would be a glass wall like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the whole room is like a wet room. So where the red is, the red is the waterproofing and uh, there will be tile on it. Actually that tile right there next to the cat's water. Mm -hmm. It's very dusty because we always think that we're well, we're about to put tile on it, so we don't need to clean. <laughs> and then this is the other tile that we're going to be using. Oops. Um, and that will go up as a kind of a feature element yeah, around the shower. Like that, like a like an 18 inch strip of tile around the shower area. So the reason the cat's water is here is because they do have another watering thing that keeps giving them fresh water, but they like to be served. So anytime we're in the bathroom, they come over here. Oh, and you can see we're not quite finished. We don't even have a toilet paper um, holder yet. So that's what we're waiting on. And uh, James was mentioning there's no towel rack. I just so. hang my clothes right here. Like that. But one day, one day this will be complete. Okay, so in Japan, you've always got a little scoop, not usually a bucket, and we're just like, I think this was used for cement. We, were, you know, it's, we cleaned it anything. after. And then this is a kid, little kid's stool, and in Japan they have these nice, um, they're, they're about like this, you sit about this high. They're wooden, so they're oh, not cold. It's so beautiful. And you know, like the, the wooden scoop, we have to get those. But right now, we're just doing this. This is our shower, right? Which is what we kind of did in Japan, and um, and you you can if you want to um, waste some water, you fill up the tub first, right? It's funny because I you know I definitely know that showers use less water than baths, so you know that was one you know water reduction and conservation tip is to have a shower out in the bath. But then when we started doing this, you realize that one bucket is much less water than a shower. And that's all you use. Well, I, I probably use two. Really? Yeah. I use You're two extravagant. I know. I'm like that. <laughs> Anyways, you think how much water comes out of the shower in one minute. And you can do that test to see how much water you're using to test how much water comes out in one minute and then time how long the showers are. Well, you use a lot more when you do this. Oh, you don't need to pour the whole thing, though. You can just pour a little bit. It's so much fun. <laughs> and, and you need it. It up. If you want to keep the bath clean, then you we fill up the tub. We don't have our solar hot water hooked up yet, though. So that means that the tank downstairs that we're using for the domestic hot water is half going to be solar, but it's not hooked up yet. So we get half half the tank, and that's pretty adequate. But it'll fill up to about here with hot water. And then you have to wait 30 minutes for it to heat again if you want it full time. So we were going to talk about shampoo too. Oh yeah. Um, people get really fancy about about what they wash with. But um, I was really proud when I found Lush as... Oops, I'm zooming. 
<laughs> Lush, don't, don't zoom. <laughs> um, Lush has these pucks of shampoo. There's a whole lot less packaging required when it's just like um, a solid and it's not um, in, a, in a jar. But then they need one for dandruff because um, I get dandruff sometimes. So I don't know if there's another equivalent. The, um, the metal packaging from Lush too, you can use over and over yeah. again, right? You don't have to, there's no plastic packaging. Yeah, you just put that puck back in there. And then you buy a new one, it comes wrapped in paper, I think. Um, no, they just like they stack them and you grab one and you put it in the bag. This is way too hot. We were so excited when, um, because previous, previously we set the thermostat on the hot water tank in the basement to a lower heat so that the kids wouldn't get scalded when they were tiny. <laughs> now, now, it doesn't matter. We turned it up because <laughs> they're older. And now, actually, it's really hot. Because in Japan, when you have a bath in Japan, it's super hot and you get you start to get used to it. We had a tub, so we were used to this. And we had a, a smaller room and there was something, a platform you stood on and you washed there. And then you had the tub next and it was a square tub and it was really deep. And the way you heated the water, because you didn't have hot and cold, you didn't have hot water hot running water in our apartment. So you had a propane heater on the other side of the wall that you would turn on and just, it would circulate and heat the water in the tub. And then we timed it, but every now and then we got distracted. And there was a couple times where we realized that our bath water was boiling. So we'd have yeah. to wait a little while. Remember that? What's that sound? <laughs> oh, the tub is boiling. <laughs> All right, let's get in and cook ourselves. <laughs> So anyway, we're used to hot, hot baths and really looking forward to, um, you know, getting out. And the solar panels, you mean? Um, well, so yeah, the solar panels. But I mean, coming in here, this is wide enough for a wheelchair. So when we're old and crotchety, we <laughs> wheel ourselves in, we'll sit here, turn the thing on, and get the whole chair wet. Wheelchair equals crotchety. When when we're in the wheelchair, <laughs> we will be old and crotchety. <laughs> Um, and then I, I should say, oh, so these are cat toys, very inexpensive, <laughs> that Leanne's, you just do that and the cats love it. And then, um, this will be pebbles that we've got and, and we don't have quite enough. So we're going to, we're just waiting to do that. And then when we get the glass wall, we'll have a shower. It'll all be humid in here. And the heat recovery ventilator will take that humidity away out of that hole in the ceiling and we don't have to open the window and let all the heat out and then we'll step out and we'll grab our towel from the towel rack which will be right here and there'll be a heated floor and then and then yeah that to the floor will be heated so you'll be like oh warm tootsies and um and then oh, a towel rack that's wonderful or a heated towel rack possibly yeah, I have. I put a pipe in this in this wall that's connected to the heating pipes that we can attach a a, a towel rack to run the heat through the towel rack, and we'll have a warm cow. <laughs> Luxury. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? So one other thing I wanted to mention is uh, for my shampoo, I use uh, baking soda. I heard about this no poo method a couple of years ago. And the no poo is for no shampoo. No oh. shampoo. <laughs> no poo. <laughs> that was painful. Um, so no shampoo. And so use baking soda and uh, vinegar if you want to rinse. We have apple cider vinegar. But I think that mine is better than James's. So we're thinking about maybe having a bit of a competition in terms of how long it takes and the costs and the uh, chemical, the environmental, environmental aspect of costs, it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't zoom in on the hair and the grate. <laughs> We will we'll clean it, I promise. That's where the state of the bathroom is right now. Yeah, one day we'll have uh, frames on the windows. And yeah. How much is that? But Time and money. Soon, soon. Soon. Thanks for watching me uh, bathe. <laughs>